Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, how are you? I am fine. Alhamdulillah. I am Rumana Afroz, senior teacher of Sister Central School and College. As you can see, we will learn today narration. So our topic is narration today. Narration is an important and simple topic of English grammar. Actually, in your question paper, you will get the narration in passive pattern. But if you do not capture the sentence pattern, so it is not easy for you. For this, at first we will learn the sentence categories, then we will go to passive. Dear learners, are you ready? Narration. Narration is a word that has come from narrate. Narrate means bononakara, to describe something. There are two categories of narration. At first, we have to we have to think and we have to get a clear conception of the definition of narration. Narration is the speaker's speech. That means what the speaker said is narration. There are two categories of narration I have already said. So, number one, direct. Number two, indirect. Direct narration is the narration where we get the speaker's speech without any chances. So, dear learners, you can easily get the definition of indirect narration. It is the narration where we will get some chances, but the chances will be according to the rule. Dear learners, I am writing a sentence of narration. He said, to me, I have done this duty. Dear students, it's a sentence of narration. And it is a narration of direct category. How can you identify it? The sentence or the speaker's speech is in an inverted comma. Is an inverted comma. So, here we can see the speaker's speech is an inverted comma and we will define it with a name. It is reported speech. So dear learners, what we will get in the inverted comma, it is reported speech. Outside the inverted comma, there will be a verb and it is reporting verb. It is reporting verb. So, if 
I summarize it in the inverted comma the speech is reported speech and outside the inverted comma there is a verb and it is reporting verb. In front of the reporting verb here is also a subject and it is the subject of that reporting verb. And after the reporting verb, there may, there may be an object. So, it is the object of that reporting verb. That means, he is subject here and me is object here. Is it clear to you, my dear students? I think all of you have got it. Example Mina said to me I had done the duty. Dear students, I have written a sentence of direct narration and we have to make it indirect. In your question paper, you always will write the indirect category. So, we have to memorize the rules very clearly. Here, subject is Mina, then reporting verb said. Then to, then me, then the inverted comma. For this inverted comma, we will write down that. Then I will be changed into she. Then according to the rule hat, then done the duty. Dear students, I have changed the direct narration into indirect. I have changed the direct narration into indirect. But when we are making the direct narration into indirect, we have to follow some rules. What are the rules? Dear students, we have to follow the three categories to change the rule. Number one, we have to change tense. Number two, we have to change the person. Number three, we have to change near word. Dear students, when, when we are changing the direct into indirect, we have to follow three rules that are tense, person, near word. At first, I want to clear about tense. If the reported speech is in present tense, then we have to change it in past tense. That means if the speech is in present indefinite, we have to make it past indefinite. In that way, if it is in continuous, that means present continuous, we have to make it in past continuous. If it is perfect, then we have to make it past perfect. In that way, we will change the, we will change the tense of present tense. If the, if the speech, that means reported speech, is in past tense, then we have to follow a technique. There will be a close connection of one 
and 3 and 2 and 4. Have you got? If your answer is no, then let me clarify it. In past tense, that means if you get the reporting verb in past indefinite tense, that is one you have to make it in past perfect tense. Dear students, if the reported if the reported speech in past continuous tense, then we have to change it in number four, and that is past perfect continuous tense. This is the way to make the changes of past tense. So we have learned the past, we have learned the present tense, we have learned the past tense, and if you get uh, the reported speech in future tense, that means if we uh, get shall will, we will change it into should would. So that's the changes of tense. Number two, change of person. In this class, I am telling you shortly. In the next class, I will make it detail. Dear students, the changes of person, first person always follow the subject. Second person always follow the object. And the third person is always unjust. I, am, I want to summarize now. First person always follow the subject. Second person always follow the object. And the third person is always unjust. Number three, near word. Near word is a very simple but essential thing. If we get some words in report, reported speech, that means if we get today, we will change it into that day. If we get this, we have to change into that. So dear students, that are the changes. In my next class, I will make in detail. So that's all for today. Dear students, thanks for watching this class. And I think you will get more preparation about it. And you have to you have to make a clear sense of tense. So till the next class, goodbye.